is up. I'm here at Bushkill Park, East in Pennsylvania, to take a walk through a classic, a so classic, that is the oldest original funhouse in the entire United States, right there. This is the 120th birthday celebration of Bushkill Park. Um, I had heard of Bushkill Park because there used to be a haunted pretzel here, which at the time was the oldest pretzel ride um, in the entire country, too. And that, unfortunately, the flood of, I think it was 2004, uh, washed that whole thing away. So, unfortunately, that's no longer here, which breaks my little dark heart. But um, this is here, and this is cool. So we're going to take a walk through this now. Hilarity Hall, it used to be called the Barrel of Fun. And when it flooded and they took the stuff off the wall, they found the original uh, painting faces that were there. And so that just blows me away. I love stuff like that. So let's take a walk through this and check it out. stairs right here. This is like crazy if you're not expecting it because the stairs move. <laughs> As you walk up them. I'm here inside America's oldest fun house here in Bushkill Park in Easton, Pennsylvania. It's cool. The staircase got me when I was going up. Uh, I wasn't expecting the stairs to move. That, that, one, that one got me for sure. Classic fun house, though. I haven't been in one like this, especially something this old. I mean, it's 120 years old uh, today. Today is the celebration of it, July 3rd. Um, unbelievable. And the barrel spins, a spinning barrel, and it's a cool place.
That was incredible. That was just like walking through time. Uh, I loved it. This park is really cool. Uh, the celebration's great. They got a band playing over in the back over there. There's um, called The Buzz, by the way. Nice guys and ladies. And there's a car show in the back with some really cool classic vintage cars. Um, you can see some of the damage here. Now, I'll, I'll show you guys. You can get an idea of what some of the flooding unfortunately did to the park because this park is in a flood zone. So here you can see there's some car remnants in here as you see right here. So they're working on it, rebuilding it, which I am so glad that they're doing that because I love uh, classic parks. You know, as much fun as it is for some people, not for me, but for some people, to go to Six Flags and, you know, some of the huge amusement parks and stuff. It's the little mom and pop stuff that gets me. It's the small, local um, parks that just uh, do it for me. I, I love that stuff. So the fact that this is still here 120 years later uh, just blows me away. So the Haunted Pretzel used to be located, as far as I'm told, on the other side of this building. And it's gone. Right here. This is where the haunted pretzel used to be. Now I've been told that there's bits and pieces of the ride that still exist uh, somewhere. Somebody has some of the cars or maybe a couple of the props. I'm not sure. I'm trying to find that out. Um, I hope at least something exists, but we're standing where it was once upon a time. Right now, this is where the haunted pretzel was. So what you're looking at right here is the foundation for where the haunted pretzel once stood, which at the time was the oldest pretzel ride in the world. There's nothing left of it, but it was here once upon a time. Man, that kills me. <laughs> that kills me that it's gone. Uh, I would have loved, loved to have ridden that ride right there. Um, the oldest pretzel ride now is Laugh Land, which is in Sylvan Beach, New York, which I highly recommend taking a trip there and riding that. That is an incredible ride too. I love Laugh Land. Um, still a lot of classic rides, still a lot of fun to be had and I can definitely appreciate the work that they're putting into this park and you can tell that the people here love this park, care about this park enough to have this celebration, to keep this park open um, even though it is in a flood zone and at any time anything can happen so the fact that they care enough uh, is pretty awesome and I think it shows how there are still people who care about history and the past and, uh, which is good for people like me who didn't get to experience it Back in its heyday, the fact that I can come here now, walk through a 120 year old fun house, is pretty amazing. So, if you're ever in Easton, Pennsylvania, take a trip out to uh, Bushkill Park. Look at the skating rink, which has got a whole list of uh, memories attached to it. It's, it's pretty cool to see a lot of the the old-timers, there's a lot of old-timer people who came here and they're reminiscing. I saw an old couple that was, I think the, the woman was 91 and the man was uh, right around the same age and they wanted to walk through the spinning barrel because they did, you know, 70 years ago or something. That's, that's just awesome. That's awesome. This is cool. An Alan Herschel original. Just a great, fun little family park. I love it. Bushkill Park. Recommend it. Come down. The Fun House. How oh, cool. Look. It's 
pretty awesome. Look up here, you see these people? They're taking pictures in front of the Bushkill Park sign, remembering all the fun times they had and stuff back then. I think that's so cool. I just love that. I love that. It was a better time, a simpler time. All right, I'm out of here. Good times, Bushkill Park, Easton, Pennsylvania, 120 years. That's a milestone, definitely. All right, we'll see you soon for another episode here on Dark Red Dragon. I love that there's a guy like 70 years old on this ride. I love this. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> I love that.